If you use numbers in your Python code, then you'll need to learn the rules of arithmetic. How to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Arithmetic may seem trivial, but there are some tricky details when combining numbers of different types or when dividing. In this video, we'll cover arithmetic in Python version 2. If you are using version 3, then you'll want to watch our video for that version. Let's go. In version 2, there are four types of numbers. Ints, longs, floats, and complex numbers. And in arithmetic, there are four operations. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. To use arithmetic in Python, you first need to understand the idea of narrower and wider types. Any int can be converted to a long by adding an L at the end. Another way to convert an int to a long is to pass it to the long constructor. But some longs are too big to be converted into ints. For example, on my system, 10 billion is too big to be an int. Python treats it as a long. See how it puts an L at the end. So we say that ints are a narrower type than longs. You can also say that longs are a wider type than ints. Similarly, any long value can also be represented by a float, but not the other way around. To convert a long to a float, just add a point zero at the end. Another way to do this is to pass a whole number to the float constructor. But not all floats can be converted to longs. For example, the number 3.14 is a decimal. It's not a whole number. If you try to change it to a long, the number is first rounded and then made into a long. It's no longer the same number. So longs are narrower than floats. Floats are wider than longs. Lastly, any float can be made into a complex number, but not vice versa. To convert a float to a complex number, just add 0j to the number, or pass the number to the complex constructor. If you try to convert a complex number to a float, you get a type error. So floats are narrower than complex numbers. We can also say that complex numbers are wider than floats. Let's recap. Ints are narrower than longs. Longs are narrower than floats. And floats are narrower than complex numbers. Going in reverse, complex numbers are wider than floats. Floats are wider than longs. And longs are wider than ints. This is similar to how in mathematics, integers are a subset of the real numbers and the reals are a subset of the complex numbers. In Python, ints and longs both represent integers. Let's now explore the four arithmetic operations in Python. We'll start by creating four numbers, one for each type. A is an int. B is a long. C is a float. And D is a complex number. The rule of thumb is when combining two numbers of different types, Python will convert the narrower type to the wider type, then perform the operation. Addition. If we add A and B, we are adding an int and a long. Longs are wider than ints, so Python converts A to a long, then adds. The result is 5 as a long and not 5 as an int. Subtraction. If we compute C minus B, we are subtracting a long from a float. Longs are narrower than floats, so Python widens b to a float, then subtracts. The result is 3.0, which is a float. Multiplication. If we multiply a and c, we are multiplying an int and a float. Floats are wider than ints, so a is changed to a float, and then the numbers are multiplied. The result is 12.0, a float. Division. Next, divide d by c. Floats are narrower than complex numbers, so c is widened to a complex number before the division. We get 2 plus 0j. While this is the same as the integer 2, Python stores it as a complex number. You can tell because it has an imaginary part. Don't forget that Python uses j as the square root of negative 1, not i. In addition to knowing what happens when combining numbers of different types, you also need to fully understand division. If you are dividing two whole numbers in Python, get ready. The answer may not be what you would expect. Look what happens if you divide 16 by 5. The mathematical answer is 3.2, but the Python answer is 3. This is because when dividing with two whole numbers, Python returns the quotient, not the actual value. Recall that when you divide one number by another using long division, you get two numbers, a quotient and a remainder. Dividing whole numbers returns the quotient. If you want the remainder, 
you use the percent operator. If you do want the real number value and not just the quotient, you can convert either the numerator or denominator to a float. Don't forget the big exception in arithmetic. You cannot divide by zero. In math, it is undefined, and in Python, it throws a zero division error. Be careful when dividing two numbers. Unless you are certain the denominator is not zero, you'll have to be prepared for this possibility. When combining two numbers using addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division, Python will widen any numbers to make sure all values are of the same type. And when dividing two integers, Python returns the quotient. And don't forget what happens when you divide by zero.